Good evening, everybody. This is Sean. You guys are watching Bet Flips, and we are back at it another night early video so everyone can get their picks in. Um, today we had another good day, another positive day. We went five and three up uh, a little bit over a unit and some extra. And now we are, we've are we hit our goal, we're there. Now we just need to stay there and move past it of our goal for the month. 11 units, we're at 11.55 units for the month of April. Absolutely amazing, it's not even April. 15th yet it's the 13th and we're doing picks out for the 14th and we've already hit our goal so we are sitting pretty uh for the month um we just need to stay consistent and keep this trend going and we're gonna do that i've got four plays today and uh the games today were absolutely amazing uh four plays tomorrow but the games today Oh man, uh, if you didn't see that Blue Jays game and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. just putting the team on his back, he hit three monster shots and they weren't just home runs, they were lasers. Lasers that exited the stadium in about half a second. They were insane. He was wearing the home run jacket all night long. Uh, the, the only games that I was really kind of upset about was uh, the Phillies. Their bullpen sucks. Um, they stink, and yeah, they, they need some work to do with their bullpen. Uh, the, the Mets offense blew up, and I, I really think that should have been an under, uh, but their bullpen was absolutely terrible. We missed that game. And then our other loss was uh, Charlotte just didn't show up in the NBA. We had another loss, but it, it was what it was with the, the Houston in Arizona. I don't know what it is with people not scoring runs in that stadium this year. It's just been slow to get that offense going with Arizona being a not so great offense. And I don't know what's going on there, but uh, all the, I think Arizona home games have only been over once or twice this whole season so far. So that's an abnormality. But we ended up five and three, great day, lots of winning. Uh, the Brewers almost gave it away, and uh, I've got Corbin Burns on my fantasy team, so uh, he did not get the win, even though he deserved it. He pitched amazing. Clayton Kershaw, if you guys didn't see that game, oh my gosh. He had a no-hitter through seven and then got pulled by that crazy manager that's a yes man of the front office in L.A. Uh, got pulled. Um, I know they're playing to win the World Series, as he quoted before the season started. But as a baseball fan and a Clayton Kershaw fan, I feel like we were robbed of that opportunity. He only had 80 pitches through seven innings and gets pulled. But the Dodgers still won. Uh, we had a great day, and uh, we're going to move forward. We've got four plays today, three in the MLB and one NHL play. And it's going to be my homer day. Um, it just happened th this way. Uh, St. Louis Cardinals are underdogs against Milwaukee. We're going to take them on the money line at plus 132. Wayno is on the mound. Uh, good pitcher for the Brewers as Woodard is on uh, the mound as well. And it should be a good matchup, but I like the Cardinals offense. As we saw, the Brewers struggled to score against the Orioles. And their offense just does not hold up to the same standard as St. Louis. And then we're gonna move uh, over to the American League East and we're gonna continue to ride Toronto. Uh, Severino is making his second start back from Tommy John for the Yankees. And I just like Toronto's offense so much. They're underdogs. If they're underdogs, they're definitely worth jumping on um, at plus 115 and we're gonna do just that. Then we're gonna take a total, we're gonna take over seven and a half runs in the Atlanta-San Diego matchup. We've got Musgrove, we've got uh, Morton on the mound, two great pitchers, but these two teams both have pretty stellar offenses and I think someone's gonna break through. Not sure who, but I like the over seven and a half in that matchup. Then in the NHL, we're gonna go St. Louis Blues on the money line. They're playing the Buffalo Sabres. 
The Sabres have nothing to play for. They're ready to go home. Blues are ready to, to pack their bags onto their playoff ride. And uh, they, they want to continue that momentum going up. They've been playing great lately. Um, and I think they're going to continue to do that. We're taking them on the money line in regulation. That's the important part. Regulation at minus 130 money line. Uh, so those are our plays, everybody. If you guys like this information, smash that like button. I just want to thank everybody for watching these videos. And give me a comment of your favorite game of the day. We will be back tomorrow. We will see you later. Thank you.